All right, so today we're going to talk about the circle of fifths. So you can see an image of it here, and this is basically what we're going to be looking at for the entire video. The circle of fifths is this magic pattern inside of music and music theory that the better you understand, the better you're going to grasp theory and harmonic motion as a whole. So when we've already talked about major scales and um, we're going to get the minor scales eventually because there's a relationship there and you can see those in the inside and the major scales on the outside. We've also talked about key signatures so we know that C has no flats, G has one sharp, D has one sharp or two sharps, A has three sharps, etc. Right? So there's a pattern in terms of how those things create. So anytime you're going around the circle of fifths, you can imagine the next scale as five up in the last scale you played. So if you played C major, oh, right? If you go up five to sol, do re mi fa sol, that's your G. G has one sharp, F sharp. Right? And you can do that again. Go up to Sol and G. Oh, um, G, A, B, C, D, right? And that's suddenly your two sharps. Those sharps get added in a certain order. Uh, same thing with the flats. So if you uh, turn it around, of course, a uh, fifth inverted is a fourth. So if you only went up a fourth in C, you'd find F. Alternatively, if you're in C and you go down a fifth, C, D, D, A, G, F, there's your F, right? That's your next, that's your next note and your next scale. And so there would be one flat. Same thing if you went down a fifth and F, you'd find your B flat. So this is going up, this is going down. Um, you can also think of that as forwards or backwards, depending on how you want to think about that. Those sharps or flats get added and you can see it right down here in in the in the PDF and they get added in order. I would like to remember this order as fat cats go down alleys eating bread. Fat cats go down alleys eating bread. You can actually see that the order of flats is that in reverse. I've always remembered that bead go call Fred. Again, bead, go, call, Fred. So just something that I've used to remember it. You can also see one flat, two flats, three flats, four flats, five flats. Note that D flat and C sharp, of course, are the same in a harmonic note, uh, but their key signatures look differently, right? So D flat has five flats, C sharp has seven sharps, right? Notice as well, how they are orderly in terms of where those sharps get added and where those flats get added. Okay? Great. Let me know if you have any questions. There's lots more in there that we're going to deal with the rest of the semester and actually the rest of the time you're analyzing music. But please go ahead and memorize this. Be able to generate this. You know, take a minute, um, memorize all the major scales, right? And go ahead and be able to generate the major side of the circle of fifths. The more you can do that, the faster you can do that, the easier music theory will be for you. Great, catch you next time.